Okay, this is part two of repairing this uh, uh, quarter hour cuckoo clock that has a little man and woman that tell the weather. I got the movement out. I got the bella repaired. I had to add a nickel to uh, this one. And this left bellow lifts up the right bellow through this nail right here. The slip bellow lifts up this bellow through the nail that's sticking out. When the right bellow is lifted, the right bellow's got this piece of wire that makes the bird bounce. And it also has this other wire that is attached to this wire here to hold it up in the air until this left bellow comes down and it hits that wire and that way you get cuckoo versus one coo but if you notice there was so often the second bellow doesn't come down and if you see the space between the wire that's attached to the left bellow and the right bellow there's too much space so bending that toward the front should allow the wire to catch and and stop uh, close the second bellow but there I got it bent too close because as you can see the right bellow wire is not catching onto the wire to stick it up in the air so these things take a little bit of uh, patience uh, to get them all properly adjusted and that's where a lot of people don't like them because it takes a little bit of patience Now you have to understand also, it's not going to work this fast like I'm doing it because it's being rotated by the hands. So once I put all this back in the case, I might have to adjust it some more. So it's getting there and I'm going to put it back in the case now. Don't forget you got this uh, uh, hour wheel that goes on. And I put this thing in my cleaner and I spent half a day looking for this hour wheel because as I was bringing it out of my ultrasonic cleaner, it bounced out of the basket that I had it in and I had to tear my bathroom apart to find this stupid hour wheel. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Uh, Anyway, remember uh, this slid in where most of them are nailed in.
So I want to uh, slide it in, but it was underneath the bird. So before I go any further, I need to put the chain on. And I got to take the clips off the chain in order to put them in the clock. This one didn't have a, a washer on it. So I'm going to take it back out. To put the uh, chain on. To me it's easier. Pulling the chain. about halfway and then uh, putting the chain down the holes of the box Like I said, most of these movements are nailed in. This is the first one that I came across where it's got these grooves to, uh, to hold the movement in. I guess it's a good idea. If you have a good carpenter that can put those grooves in, But you want to, uh, you don't want to go too far in the movement in the box because if you go too far, then you're going to put bind on the chains. So uh, I'm only going to go to where the chain is straight up and down in the wheel. Put my hour arbor on. And then putting this back on. Now, this has got staples on it. And I wouldn't typically like these staples. In fact, I'm going to take these staples out. And I'm going to drive some uh, nails into the uh, frame of the clock once I got it all together. And I'm going to have to do this uh, off camera. Because I got to put my eyes on, and you're not going to be able to see anything. I took all the staples out. Now they were just too damaged. And I'm putting these little wire nails in. The most important part is uh, is to. Uh, get the arbor, the minute arbor and the bird in the center. And I'm gonna put a couple nails 
in because I don't want this thing falling off the wall. And if you don't know exactly where to put your nails, that's what a slide rule like this is for. You push it up against the wood. And then close it and wherever it was at, that's where you have a, a, a decent ideal of where to put the first nail. I have a staple gun, but I would rather put these little nails in in case I have to work on the clock again. Again, with this tool, let's see if I can bring that camera around so you, so you can see what I'm doing. With this tool, it slides up and down. And so you push it up against the wood, the end of the tool, and then push on the uh, tool itself. And that shows me how far, how deep the wood is. And so I can put my nail on the other side of the end of this tool and knowing that I'm going to hit into the meat of the wood. I made this uh, ball peen hammer back when I was in high school. Still have it. Um, that was back in 1982, 83 time frame. Anyway, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, uh, housing back on and all I have to do now is put hands and do some fine adjustments to that wire so you can hear cuckoo versus coo And then uh, I have to make a, a pendulum. Because this clock didn't come with a, a pendulum. Attaching the uh, wire that starts the uh, cuckoo functioning. It's all got to do with that left bellow.
but we're getting there. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. I have other videos on uh, repairing quarter hour cuckoo clocks. And so, uh, if you are a subscriber to my channel, You can see the other videos. But I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button and God bless. This thing is about ready to go on the wall again after I put the link uh, links back on for the weight and a washer so the chain don't go back up in the uh, into the movement. And like I said, I need to, uh, I need to, uh, make a pendulum leader wire for it. And they don't take heavy weights. But 175, 250 gram weights is all they take. With the weight on it, you'll be able to see the uh, pendulum leader wire ticking away there. And that's a 250 gram weight. The part that hangs on the wall is this hole. Never ever use this hole up here. Um, this part sticks off of the wall some. But this hole here is what you hang the clock on. This was a two part video. The first part, which is about 25 minutes, I have been loading it for six hours now. And so this is a 20 minute video. It's gonna take me another six hours to load this video. That is why I don't do long videos. So for the people who are complaining about the short videos, I'm sorry. I live out in the country. I have slow internet. I, uh, the information I'm providing is free. Let me repeat that. The information I'm providing is free. So... Um, enjoy the fact that it's free i'm sorry there's several videos hit the subscribe button and god bless